There goes my kids off to school. It's a it's a beautiful morning. Cold, but it's beautiful. I mean, look look at it. Look at the snow, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's have a good day today. We got we got a couple cool things happening today. Today is a uh, today's a doctor's appointment for Veronica. We're gonna go get an ultrasound today. Check on the progress of the baby. After that, Carson has a school play today, which should be really cool to see. He's gonna be a actor. I don't know what it is. There's something about coffee on cold mornings that just seems right, you know? Coffee on any morning seems right, as a matter of fact. Hey, Fluffy. Hi, kitty. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I gotta get ready. We gotta go to the doctor's appointment and then to Carson's play. So, I need to get dressed. <laughs> Toast. She can only have toast because her doctor's appointment requires her to do a diabetes test. Mm -hmm. Sometimes pregnant women get gestational diabetes, and so they have to make sure that Veronica's not one of those people, right? And Carson's play today is also a feast. Apparently we have to go to the store and buy four pumpkin pies complete with whipped cream. Whipped cream? Look at this, it's not snowing right now it's not snowing at all that's just the wind like this particular road all the time every winter it's always drifting this one and the one that's parallel to this one that way Any east and west east and west that's right east -west roads. these roads snow. drift over so bad it's crazy <laughs> This is did you, Jade. Did you have me to morning? No, I didn't, I didn't. This is JD. She's, a, she's one of the nurses at the doctor's office. And I feel like these two girls, they're both pregnant. And they they just had this giggle sesh where they're like <laughs> talking about baby. 28 weeks. Mine his was running around like 147, 148. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. He's in the 130s. And it's been like that since I was like 28 weeks. Okay. So no. It's just she's so bigger than average. She said it was like a pound above average. It's okay. Yeah, in the ultrasound room, I had to kind of, I had to kind of conceal my camera <laughs> because the ultrasound tech she doesn't, she doesn't want us to film our ultrasound because it's a HIPAA violation, patient privacy laws. But I'm just I'm confused because. It's her freaking privacy. It's my information. Yeah. I told him to do it anyways. And she signed releases. Like I can use all her shit. For anything. Forever. <laughs> she don't care about me. As soon as that thing goes in. I used to draw a button. I'm, I might pass out. I'm gonna pass out. <sighs> Please don't do it. I'm gonna pass Oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. That was quick. I must have passed out or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cutie. Hey, cutie. Oh, that's a cutie dog. That's what we need, right? Just pumpkin pie. 
Pumpkin pie. Yep. Whipped cream. Yep. That's one of Veronica's favorites. Pumpkin pie with whipped cream. Maybe we should get one to take to our house. After. Serious? Sounds good. What if we don't get any? You're the pregnant one. You get what you want. Okay, now that we picked up the pumpkin pies for the feast at Carson's school play, <laughs> we're gonna go watch. We're gonna go watch my little Carson become an actor. Right before our very eyes, he's gonna be acting. He's only got two lines. You know what the two lines are? Yeah. Good job, dude. You played an awesome Indian. High five, dude. It's awesome. Now that was a very, very quick and easy re rendition of how the pilgrims, right? This is how the how the Indians met the pilgrims. That was your play, right? Yeah. And now we're gonna go downstairs and eat and be merry. Go get a mom. Now they're gonna have their second lunch, which is the feast. Every parent brought in a dish. We brought in four pumpkin pies. <laughs> we have the option of taking Carson home now. Do you wanna go home now? You get like an hour early out. Let's do it, let's go back home together. Let's just walk us in. Yeah. Carson got to come home an hour early, and I says, what do you want to do? And the only thing he wants to do is what? Garden warfare. <laughs> Plants versus zombies garden warfare. Plants versus zombies garden warfare. You oh, yeah. and me. Ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. What a cool game. This is Plants versus Zombies here. Look. Garden. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. They pretty much took the super popular Plants vs. Zombies game and made it into somewhat of like Advanced Warfare or like the Call of Duty games. One side versus the other. You've obviously got Plants vs. Zombies. It's pretty cool. The only problem is they can't oh, play split screen like two player, which really sucks because I think him and Colin would really like that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared. You, Carson, you were supposed to stand right there. What? You were supposed to stand right there. What are these, what are these saps doing? We're just chilling, bro. What? Take a nappy. <laughs> I gotta go get Colin. Roman and Brittany just showed up for a minute. They just had to get something and bounce, but it's time to get Colin off the bus. Why don't you ask our internet friends? Does this match? Does it, does it matter that it matches because it's accessories? I really don't mm. care though, because I just want to be warm. I think that's, that, I think that's the main <laughs> issue that we should cover is that you want to be warm. But how does a sweatshirt do it? I don't know how a sweatshirt. I have a long sleeve shirt on. And I'm not, this part of me is not cold. That's covered. It's the parts that are- Not even this part. No. Not at all that part. It's just the parts that are uncovered, like my head. 
It'll be a long while <laughs> since I have a hat on now. You're so cute. <laughs> Veronica's going out to dinner with Brittany and her mom. And me and the boys are staying home. Fend for yourself. I think we're going to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or something. It's bananas that you need eight. Some bananas? Okay. Banana and peanut butter. We'll just goat. Sandwich. We'll do the goat tonight. We'll just eat whatever we find. That's the goat. There's you do the goat. The goat is like scavenging for whatever food. Have fun. I love you. love you. Oh, damn. Look at that. Hey, what's up, what's up bro? Come I just here. I just made some pizza rolls. <laughs> oh, me. Dude. You missed uh, all that. Look at you. You grown up. How are you? You're a true hoe bro. I know. <laughs> car hurts him. Seth stopped by with his kids. So we got a house full of kids. Mm. It's fun. I mean we're just two dudes sitting in the kitchen drinking coffee and talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we're actually talking about Seth. I don't know if you know this or not, but Seth has a vlog channel. Uh, if you look it up on YouTube, it's The Seth Wetzel, right? That's correct. The Seth Wetzel. And he was asking me like pointers for his vlogs, and I don't really know what to say other than ask the audience. You know what I mean? Like you should ask the audience. What? It, how about this? What if you guys, and this could be good for you, you guys give him your opinion of like what, what works and what doesn't. Go to his channel and watch a couple of his videos. And on his newest one, leave a comment and give him some suggestions. Like, we like when you talk about this type of stuff. We don't like when you do this or whatever. Give him kind of like a, you know, like a focus group. You guys can help him determine what is going to make his vlogs better. I don't know what to say. I've already given him my input, but I think, I think you're your perspective is a lot more valuable than mine because you guys are the ones watching it. Wouldn't you agree? True that. He's the only guy I know with as many tattoos as he got. I mean, look I at got, that. I got a lot. <laughs> Hold your fist out. He's a, this freaking guy sent me a picture of his fist a while back. Feel pain. Yeah, but I'm really nice. I know, it's so <laughs> off-putting because like you're this guy with these tattoos and you look like this... You look like a mean mother guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you're not I'm at not. all. <laughs> no. You're not. Time has come. Seth is gone. The kids are gone. The boys are getting ready for bed. PJs, PJs. It's like kids. Here, go ahead. Put those on. Veronica is still out with her mom and Brittany. They must be having a good time. It's good for her to get out because she's been stuck with these guys. Hey, Dad. <laughs> this time Bailey was here. Yeah, I'm Bailey. You like Bailey? Mm -hmm. Is she your girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> funny, funny. What did you get? Love you. Bye. Love you. Hey, thanks for taking Veronica out. I bet she loved it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that was awesome. Bye. That was Bye. awesome. Bye. I love you. Love you. Don't uh, lose okay. your picture. Oh, I won't. I'll frame you frame it. that one? No. Would you guys take a picture? Yeah, look, it's so good. Oh, uh, oh that's just We did the, the photo booth. That's just precious. <laughs> oh, that's super cute right there. <laughs> All right, kids, I think it's about time for us to call it a night. Veronica's getting cozy. Mm -hmm. I just rented 22 Jump Street. Should be pretty good. That's just about all we can bring you for today. So, you know, again, like I say every day, thank you so much for watching. And you know, we can't wait to catch you right back here. Come on.